Hello everyone. Today I'll paint Scott Clark from Hellboy the Board Game. I'll be adding OSL and dynamic volumes to turn this gray into this. Let's get painting. First, I'll apply contrast paints to the base of the figure's clothes and skin. This will give a head start to the base colors. I work from light to dark colors, as contrast paints do not paint well over darker tones. Then I will use some light paints for the pouches and hair to give some color diversity. With this body based, I can move on to the details. I add some red and blue to the wires under his arm for contrast to the green of his shirt. I want the jetpack to have a rocketeer looking color, so I'm basing the rocket with tan colors so the metallic paints show stronger later. While the jetpack dries, I dot the metal studs on the buttons of the pouches and the vests with some gunmetal. When there are little dots like this, I will occasionally use a toothpick to add just the right amount to the figure. I can now come back to the jetpack, applying soft metallic gold over the tan. I now have all the base colors down. To deepen the color, I will add a light wash over the model. Time to add some detail to the model with highlights. Picking out the edges and brightening where the light would hit the most, I add a soft gray to the vest. I want the vest to look black in color, so I keep the highlight darker than the rest of the clothes. With the leather, I use less control. I want there to be texture in the leather, as it would fold and weather over time when it's warm. When highlighting, I'm picking a paler color to represent worn, dried leather. The hair just needed a light touch of texture, so I focused on the peaks that poked out from the overall volume. Focusing on the upward facing portions of the skin, I added a soft flesh tone back over the washed areas, keeping the underside the darker, cooler color. Now for tiny lines. The back of the vest has the symbol for the bureau the team works for, the BPRD. I took my time and lightly added paint to the logo. Breathe, relax, and be patient. The jacket is the last piece to highlight. I let the folds in the clothes guide me. I use the tones and texture from the vest and the leather to be control for how much light and texture I need to apply. Jetpack fire time. For the base gradient, I will paint from light to dark, 
decreasing the brightness as the flame moves further from the jetpack. To provide variation in the flame, I'll pull the darker and lighter colors at different heights of the flame and then come back over to blend in any hard breaks in the color. This is a lot of eyeballing, as well as using the model's shape to inform your brush strokes. The flames are done. Now I move on to the smoke plume. First, I'll cover it with black contrast paint. Then, I will add a mid-tone to the upward facing portion of the plume. I can now add in my object source lighting for the flame. I apply a thin coat to the smoke near the flame, and then dry brush the same color on the body in the same way. I pull out some focus for the light with a brush and add in lighter details so the clothes don't get washed out in yellow. I can use what I have brushed on now to define the shape of the light hitting the smoke. Then I move to the front portion and add light to the volumes on the naturally lit side. I repeat these steps with brighter colors and smaller portions until I get the desired effect I want. This can be tedious, but take your time and keep your paint thin to keep the colors from coming out blocky. I finish it off by painting the base black. I hope you found this helpful and it inspires you to try your hand at more dynamically posed figures. Remember to take your time and look for what you want your focal points to be. That will define what you need to put the most time into and don't stress the rest. See you next time.